Hello friends, today we are going to see how to find the diameter of a binary tree. So let's see. See, this is one binary tree and we have to find out the diameter of this binary tree. So what is the diameter of a binary tree? It is the number of nodes on the longest path of that binary tree. It is the number of nodes on the longest path of the binary tree. It will remind you of the definition of diameter of the circle. See, if that is not the longest, that line, it is called as the chord. But the line which is the longest is called as the diameter. The same thing in the binary tree. The path which is the longest or the path which has the highest number of nodes, that path is the diameter of the binary tree. See, for this example, from this node to this node, this path is the diameter of the binary tree. This path is the diameter of the binary tree. Now what is the length of the diameter? See 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 is the length of that diameter. Okay? For this binary tree. Now this diameter passes through the root of this binary tree. As this diameter passes through the root of this binary tree, of this whole tree, now you can have a connection with the height of this binary tree. Somewhere it gives us the sense of the height of this binary tree. Yes, the diameter of this binary tree is nothing but the height of the left subtree. See, height of the left subtree means the left height. See, this subtree is considered as a tree, and we find out the height of this tree. Then the height of the right subtree so I will write it as the right height the height of the right subtree plus this one node this root plus this one node so I will write it here plus one C as the diameter is the number of nodes on the longest path, obviously it is equal to the left height, means the height of the left subtree, means the longest path in the left subtree, plus the longest path in the right subtree, plus the root or the node itself for which we are calculating the left hand uh, left height and the right height okay plus 1 for that node now see it is not necessary that the diameter of the binary tree always passes through the root okay this example is for that understanding now see in this example, the diameter is between these two nodes. Okay? See, this is the path. This is the path for the diameter. What is the length of the diameter? One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, this diameter is equal to, length of the diameter is equal to 9. 
see if, if there was an another node here the length would be 10 if there is an another node here the length would have been 10 because there is one more node in this path but here now only 9 nodes are there so the length of this diameter is 9 now here is our solution for the recursive code so how this solution works see for this example that is the diameter is equal to left height plus right height plus 1 now for this example if we come at the root of this binary tree then for a minute just assume that you know the diameter of this binary tree does not pass through root just assume that you know this okay then if you know that the diameter does not pass through the root then we have to find out the diameter path either on the left subtree or the right subtree right so then we shift our code or we call the recursive function and we pass the left subtree and the right subtree okay now the similar process of finding out the left height plus the right height plus 1 this process will be performed on this subtree on this left subtree and the right subtree okay now now for this left subtree suppose l diameter is the diameter for this left subtree whatever is the diameter just consider this left subtree as a new tree and for this new tree this node is the root and again the left height will be calculated for this root then the right height will be calculated and left height plus right height plus 1 so this will be the diameter of this subtree which is considered as a new tree for our code okay now that is the left diameter for this node see for this node this is the left diameter and this is the right diameter okay as we know the diameter does not pass through the root so we find out the diameter for the left subtree and for the right subtree okay and the diameter which is greater will be the final answer will be the final diameter now finally we come to know that if the diameter passes through the root then the maximum value will be left height plus right height plus 1 for that root and if it does not pass through root then we have to pass the left subtree and the right subtree to the recursive code for finding out the diameter again see this is the procedure of finding out the diameter this procedure we have to perform on the left subtree and the right subtree recursively and out of that left subtree and right subtree whatever is greater diameter we consider that diameter so that is max of L diameter comma R diameter okay C so out of this passing through the root the diameter passing through the root and diameter not passing through root okay now 
out of these two i had said you that assume that you know that the diameter does not pass through root but obviously for other examples we don't know whether the diameter passes through the root or not then you have to calculate the both means first you have to consider that the diameter passes through the root second you have to consider that the diameter does not pass through the root and you have to take maximum of the both values max of the both the values you have to take see max of passing through root and not passing through root so you have to take maximum of this two so let's see the code now and after you see the code you will 100% understand this algorithm for finding out diameter of the binary tree so let's see the code now this is the function the name of the function is diameter and it will return a value that is integer diameter the length of the longest path see p is first passed to the uh, function that is the root of this binary tree is passed to this function at first now if p equal to equal to null which means if the tree is null then obviously the diameter will be zero now as you know integer left height is to be calculated first so the height function and we have passed the left subtree that is the left child of the root so this child is passed to the height function for finding out the height of this left subtree then r height is the height for the right subtree the right child is passed the code for the height function you can find out in my another video in which i have explained in detail how to find out the height of a binary tree i have mentioned the link in the description below so now when the right height is calculated after that we calculate the diameter for the left subtree see here as i had told you you must remember that we don't know whether the diameter passes through the root or not so we are prepared for both if the diameter passes through the root then left height plus right height which is written here left height plus right height plus 1 this will be the max but if does not pass through the root then we have to calculate the diameter of left subtree then diameter of right subtree and then we have to find out the max of the left subtree diameter and right subtree diameter whatever is the value from here and the value from whatever is the maximum value out of these two will be the final diameter that is fd so that is the final diameter i will just give you a glimpse of how this algorithm works see first when the code is at the root the first time when this recursion is called p is not null so calculate the left height left height is calculated right height right height is calculated now left diameter is calculated see means this whole left subtree is passed inside the same diameter function recursively this is a recursive function see we are already inside the diameter function we are calling this function recursively okay so the left child is passed here the left child is passed see the left child here for that root so now p points to the left child of the root of this tree so p is pointing to the left child now this is a subtree but our recursive code does not know that this is a subtree because this is passed and this 
now now onwards this whole tree is considered as a new tree actually this is a sub tree but this is a new tree for this recursive call for this recursive call this is a new tree inside this tree again p is not null again the left height is calculated right height is calculated and again the diameter is calculated for this left sub tree right sub tree again recursive calls happen and at the end when we come out of all means c when we are at the end here when we encounter null when we encounter null at that time the left diam uh, we come out of this line this left diameter line this call then when right is also null we come out of this right diameter line okay and then we find out the ma max between the value passing through the root and value not passing through the root and this value is returned this value is returned returned from this node to its parent and again this parent returns to its parent again this parent returns to its parent and finally the root returns the value to us to the main function to the void main function in c if you are doing in c then this value returns to the void main function from where we have actually called the diameter function so this is how the recursive functions work actually so you have to see my other binary tree videos if you want to understand the working of this tree recursive functions hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you